Igbo Area TV on on the Igbo. Namde Kano is not a criminal. Uh, he's only demanding for a new country. That is from Senator Abaribe. Um, Abia State born Senator Enyin Abaribe uh, is one of those who uh, speak up. And, you know, they don't fear intimidation. People who doesn't fear intimidation, they tell you as it is. And on several occasions, he has spoken and he did that fearlessly. And that is why uh, he's loved by many, including non Igbos, because he speaks up. He doesn't fear anything. He's not scared by anything. And on Biafra, he has been speaking. He said, um, Nam de Kano Mazi is not a criminal. He's only fighting for freedom. Uh, this was during the interview section. That was on Monday 15th of um, this February 2021 on Channel Television. While being interviewed, he decided to speak directly to Garba Shehu because Garba Shehu said something that Engineer Barry Bay stood as a shorty for IPOB's leader. Nandekano, who Gabashe, who was regarding as a criminal, could you imagine that? So, as the interview was uh, going, Abaribe made it clear that he wants to use the opportunity to educate uh, Gabashe, based on what uh, the presidential spokesperson or spokesman said. Um, in that case, he, uh, he made it known to him that the judge asked, the judge demanded, it was from the judge, that a senator should stand as a shorty from Nandekano. And he, Abaribe, stood for him. He further stated that it was uh, when the military attacked him that he decided to escape, uh, which was why Gabashe who turned around and called him a criminal. Yes, um, under normal circumstances, he was planning to appear for the court date that was given to him, the date of the court. He was planning to appear, but another federal government body, the army, should be blamed for why he didn't appear. They should be blamed for why he left, for why he um, breached the agreement. In normal circumstances, he was planning to appear before they invaded his home. You understand? So, According to um, Abaribe, Namdekano is not a criminal. Namdekano has never um, carried AK-47 to attack citizens of the country. According to him, Namdekano only carries Biafran flag, demanding for freedom because things are not right. So it is not proper to call him a criminal. Abaribe was addressing uh, Garbashehu, uh, who has um, a gonorrhea of the mouth. Yes. Because he says what he feels like saying uh, without, um, you know, he's backed by the presidency. He opens his mouth and he says anything. Court nullifies the impeachment of uh, former governor Rosha Sukorosha's deputy, Judah Abolso, after eight years. Hmm. Uh, this is what uh, many people will call medicine after death. After eight years, he has left office. He has been impeached while Rochas was there. Now it is time. Uh, will his compensation be paid him? Yes, I, I am aware he had a disagreement with Rochas. And that led to his impeachment. Will all his astounding whatsoever be paid to him? Does that solve anything? Because this is like medicine after death. You know, um, Jude Abwaso, uh, like we said, his impeachment has been nullified by the state high court that was sitting in Oweri, the Imo state capital. Um, he was impeached on the 28th of March, 2013. Could you imagine? Uh, during Russia's or Russia's led administration. Of course, it, we all know Russia's engineered the impeachment. So it was noted that Justice S.I. Opera, uh, who delivered the judgment on the case, um, on the 15th February, uh, that was uh, um, 20, this 2021, nullified the impeachment on the ground of not following due process. Uh, he was impeached in a shabby way, and uh, not according to the uh, process laid down for impeachment of uh, any any person or office holder. 
But as I see it as mentioned after that, what uh, we want to know what form of um, sessions will be given to him. So according to the court, he said the impeachment never occurred in the eyes of the law, he stated. Well, um, as the case may be, he ordered the Imo state government to pay. Okay, now uh, they are talking. The Imo state government are to pay all entitlements and emoluments uh, accrued to the former governor, uh, deputy governor from March 28, 2013. Uh, now they are talking at least. Um, that is uh, the date of impeachment till May 2015. Okay. Uh, May 2015, I think, was the time um, he was supposed to leave office or so, when his tenure as deputy governor was supposed to end. Hmm. 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 Imo wins $5 million World Bank Budget Transparency Prize. Wow. Under a Supreme Court governor. <laughs> Yeah, so according to reports we get, we are getting, um, they said Imo State won this year's um, World Bank Budget Transparency Prize, and um, it is uh, the target of the prize is to encourage governments to embark on open budgeting. Mm. The Commissioner for Budget, Economic Planning and Statistics, uh, Dr. C. C. Oswala, um, he gave the information during the second edition report. Finding of Subnational Budget Transparency Survey Project. The commissioner in his speech stated that the World Bank gave the prize a way of encouraging the state after being satisfied with the way it presented its recent budget, which included um, various allocations, uh, their importance, etc., which amounted to transparency and openness of budgeting. Um, but however, the commissioner was dissatisfied with the reports the organizers presented covered the budget activities of a previous state government rather than the government of Senator Hope Uzodima. And this is said to have raised the bar in the budget transparency. Transparent. Meanwhile, um, he hoped that when the next report will be presented, it will be at least 90% because by then, all or almost all the expectation of the organizers will be met. Um, he therefore advised the public to always visit the Imo State uh, website and see how transparency and openness their budget is, uh, which was in accordance to uh, World Bank's demand and standard. They are trying to let us know Hope Uzodima is transparent in how he spends Imo budgets and it's open. They have a website there for everyone to see how Imo State money allocations are being spent. And it's so transparent that um, they, every dick and harry, every cock and bull, every, uh, you know, it's on the, their site. It can be assessed. That is what they are trying to say. Um, so, he also added that Imo State Budget has its information published both in English and Igbo language to avoid the excuse of not understanding the content in it. Wow. Uh, so, it has been simplified in a way. Okay, if you cannot understand English, at least you can read Igbo. So there is nothing hidden according to them. Uh -huh. Hmm. Tricycle armed robbers. They, are, they have taken over more junction. Hmm. You know, tricycle, keke, armed robbers using keke have been terrorizing more junction. That's more roundabouts. It definitely local government area, Anambra State. And uh, on Monday, we had there was a robbery there. And it has been constant. It normally happens about 6 p.m. And uh, this particular one caused uh, slow traffic. that was stampede. Uh, and, you know, the travelers were slowed down on the roadside. And they said not fewer than 10 people are said to have been robbed of cash, telephone, handsets, and other variables by men of the underworld. That's Nde OG Efifie Hiola. The first gang of the robbers, who numbered about five, rode on tricycle. That's Keke. And 
it was registered commercial uh, with a commercial color as you know that normal commercial color that is used uh, for the business it is registered that, uh, in that color and they were said to have um, robbed shooting uh, sporadically indiscriminately scaring everyone and you know this is a kind of robbery the, the police are not seen huh? they robbed it they, they were you know having a field day according to reports of people who uh, pleaded anonymity uh, these armed robbers rob on daily basis is has, is has become frequent and um, the police are not there to challenge them like we said uh, but what you notice in um, such cases after this incident you will see policemen come out to arrest innocent people it's common so since the killing of two policemen at the war junction about a month now according to um the person who played that anonymity uh, the police have run away from there and it's why the robbers are having a field day they rob at will and people run away once you hear gun definitely uh, you don't want to be uh, struck by a stray bullet so people run away because they are aware they have no help the police is not there to stop these guys so these guys are just doing what they like you remember um the what do they call this or by junction of those days i think that is what has returned to at war now it's showing at war also a shop owner who simply identified himself as Oku said and my brother we are in trouble here the robbers daily and nobody is challenging them Police ran away when two of the policemen who were stationed at the place were shot dead by the robbers. He is confirming what the other person who printed anonymity said. So they are they are really facing they are really in a terrible situation at that important junction. And we are advising uh, the state government to look at this. Um, something has to be done because things are already getting out of hand. Something has to be done. Uh, the governor of Anambra State should take notes immediately and act as soon as possible. In, 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 if possible, let there be a police station, station uh, put there. Uh, let them build a police station there. Please, viewers, add your comment. Tell us what you think on uh, our, uh, materials we shared this morning. Also, subscribe to our channel if you haven't. And click on the bell icon to get our updates anytime it drops. Azuka OJ says bye for now. For watching Ibo Area TV. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also click the bell icon. Like our Facebook page. Join our Facebook group. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Bye for now.